hello and welcome to another episode of Credit Matters TV. I'm Olaf Adansi, Communications Manager for the Corporate Ratings Practice, and I'm here with Garrett Jepson, a Director in our Corporate Ratings Practice. Thank you for having me back. No problem at all. Thank you for joining us today. So you've recently completed your article on top 10 questions in the investor-owned uh, utility sector. Yeah, it's actually a global top 10 piece. We just completed uh, analysts from S&P around the globe that follow the utility industry, got together, decided what the top 10 questions were for 2014 by investors, and we answered those. Okay, so uh, what are some of the investor questions we've answered in this piece? Well, today I'm gonna answer probably about three questions. There, there's a lot more on the website, Global Credit Portal, where we're gonna actually have the top 10 piece published. But for today, I wanna talk about our outlook for the industry in 2014. And the second topic is gonna to be around capital spending by the industry, uh, given it's a large uh, infrastructure industry and they spend quite a bit. And thirdly, uh, going forward, if they keep spending in the industry on infrastructure, what kind of credit implications there would be, if any. Okay. So what are the credit outlooks for regulated utilities uh, and unregulated power in 2014? Well, what we discovered is there's a very diverging outlook uh, at the spectrums of the industry. It is a regulated utilities, 100%, all the way to the unregulated power industry, which we have a negative outlook at this point. Yeah. Right now, for regulated utilities around the globe, largely due to regulation, which provides good cost recovery of operating expenses and capital expenditures, it's a stable outlook. There are the uh, in-between companies where they have both regulated utilities and unregulated power operations. Those are actually um, pretty common throughout the globe, and right now they generally are stable, but because of low power prices that have been out there to date, we're seeing pressure on their business risk profiles and some of their financial measures. We think that will continue in 2014. The unregulated companies only where they have power operations that are exposed to market, market prices is negative right now, and that's largely because of they don't have the stability of a regulated utility to support them. All right, so to what extent is the industry planning to capitalize long-term investment um, in infrastructure? You know, that's a very great uh, question. Uh, this uh, obviously is a very capital-intensive industry. It's been investing for many, many years now in infrastructure because that's core to this business uh, that it provides. It provides essential services around electricity, natural gas, and delivering drinking water to people. So therefore, it's going to be a continuation of what it's already been doing. Um, around the globe, we are seeing quite a bit of investment by uh, the electric industry, gas industry, and water industry in replacing aging infrastructure is a big thing, as well as dealing with new growth and in, uh, in, uh, demand from customers. They're uh, growing their assets around that as well. Uh, as far as the electric industry, we're seeing quite a bit of um, investment going on around the generation portfolio and transmission. I'll talk about generation a little bit here. Uh, in the U.S., for example, there's a lot of coal plants that are being closed because of environmental rules that are pending or have come out. So we're starting to see new natural gas fire generation plants being built to replace that lost power. Also, a lot of renewable energy uh, mandates exist, so we're seeing quite a bit of renewable uh, generation being built, largely wind turbines and solar, uh, solar farms as well to, to provide that. The uh, gas industry on the other hand, is investing in new pipelines to bring the gas from a lot of these new gas uh, shale formations that are out there to the markets and the end users, as well as they're investing in new pipelines in their de delivery systems to replace the cast iron that's in the ground and some of the bare steel as well. Water utilities continue, inv continue to invest in their treatment facilities and their delivery systems to meet the ongoing uh, environmental mandates around cleaner drinking water. So as a follow-up uh, question to that last answer, how will credit quality be impacted in, in these sectors um, going forward? Well, we don't at this point see a major impact to credit quality. This is something they've been doing now for many years. The industry has been investing significantly in its infrastructure over many years and accessing the capital markets. It is a very capital intensive industry. Yeah. They need to access the both debt and equity markets and they have been doing that to date. We think for debt investors, to be attracted to the industry, credit quality be, remain very important for the industry, and that's enabled to, uh, enables the utilities then to receive the lowest cost financing. We think investors will continue to be attracted to the sector because of its long live nature of the assets, the regulation that's out there for utilities, and finally that these are essential services being provided to customers. To see further uh, or, or read about further questions and answers uh, of the top ten, you, know, you can access that on the Global Credit Portal. 
Sure. Well, thank you, Garrett, for taking us through your report on the investor-owned uh, utility industry. As Garrett said, you can read the full commentary on our global credit portal at globalcreditportal.com. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.